you're watching a very special day from York with Stradivarius' 18th success, his third Lonsdale Cup, and of course his trainer is John Gosden. Congratulations and thank you, first off, because what a fantastic performance that was from the horse. Yeah, it's, look, he's, uh, he's never lost his enthusiasm for the game in any way. We stupidly ran him in deep ground last uh, autumn at Ascot and Longchamp, and uh, that wasn't a good idea. Won the Cigaro, didn't get Frankie's greatest ride in the Ascot <laughs> Cold Cup, having said the winner was magnificent. Uh, couldn't run at Goodwood, so it was getting a bit frustrating, you know, and he was getting fed up, but he's come back here. He always has to grind it out here with a long straight. He prefers those shorter straights, you know, it's more of a dash and less effort, but he's been in tremendous form at home, very enthusiastic, loves his training, very happy horse, and as long as he remains like that, he can happily keep racing. And from Frankie today, you got an outstanding ride, I thought. What did you think? Well, yeah, because it's tricky, because if you if you went past the pacemaker too soon, he'd have pulled himself up and think he'd done his job. So he sort of had to wait. And he's always, for some reason here, he's always had to grind it out. I don't, I don't know what it is, but he's never won any of his cup races here as easily as he does elsewhere. So it's probably that big old long straight of the knaves, Mar. But having said that, he was headed came back mm. and he was headed again and came back so it was Spanish mission is in front on the rerun right now it was a brilliant performance by both horses and it, it's amazing how you can have an exciting race with, <laughs> with just just four horses in it it absolutely was it was pulsating and you saw the reception how special this yeah. horse is to everybody how does that make you feel John well look it's not many horses in our game you know I remember coming with Rachel and my wife to see Desert Orchid the, 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 win his Shelton Gold Cup but this horse is a seven-year-old full horse and he, whether it's here, and this is of course the most knowledgeable and the most passionate racing crowd anywhere in the world. So when the old Strad turns up, wins, and canters past the stand, they, they haven't run to the bar, they wait to toast him. And there have been questions about whether he is the same horse as at his absolute peak. What is your feeling about Stradivarius? His work has been great, but I don't, I mean, I let him train himself really now at that age. You don't, you don't really ask them to do things that they would have done when they were younger. Uh, but to that extent, he's, I think his form level's good. I'd love to see him one day back again over two and a half miles. Mm -hmm. Because I think, like all of us, the, <laughs> the older he gets, probably the further and slightly slower he wants it. But look, he's run a great race today and come and, come and win here and, uh, and full master Spanish mission for making a proper race of it. It's confirmed that the fire is there in his belly, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it? no, he's, he's very much the way. And the moment that he's not enjoying it, the moment he's not the happy-go-lucky person that he is, that's it. We wouldn't dream of going on. But right now, if he hadn't come here today, he'd have been really disappointed. And when he went to Goodwood and back and couldn't run because it was 60 mil of rain and it was waterlogged, he was very angry chap when he came home. Very angry. <laughs> was he? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I think you've probably already answered the question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So what do you do at home with him to keep a horse of his age, who's still an entire, interested? Well, you just let him enjoy what he's doing, and you just set up the works, and he goes with another horse, stays with the other horse. He doesn't have to win any works at home, and he does his canters, he goes out, he likes shouting and screaming at all the others. He always likes to let everyone know he's there. I think, you know... Happy horses win races, you know. unhappy horses don't, and, and I think that's probably the way you train them, just like that. He's done a lot of miles, a lot of racing, a lot of training, and he's, he's still up for it. So and full marks for him and the owner breeder. Well, who hasn't counted out keeping him in training as an eight-year-old? I assume you'd be happy to have him still next year? It wouldn't bother me. I think, can you check the stats? I thought Yates won his last Gold Cup at eight. I might Not be wrong. Sure. Need to check. Worth checking, and that might be a help to us. OK, OK. All and right. finally... You must be, feel very proud. Is it, is it pressure with a horse that has been taken to the I public's think, heart? I think when this horse has done everything he's done, it's just a great joy and fulfilment to be with him. I just want everything to be right for him and to be enjoying it. That's the pressure that the horse is still happy. I've got a wonderful staff at home, Bradley, Sarinda, Annie, Gary, Barry, all the team, and we look out for all of the horses every day. But we know him, we know his moods. Yes. And the moment he comes into the office in the morning and his whole head's down, that's it. Absolutely. Well, uh, it, this was an absolutely special moment. I can confirm that Yates was eight, by the way, when he went. Oh, his... someone yeah. told you that already. Yeah. That's yeah. very quick. You're wired up, obviously. <laughs> absolutely. Someone was telling, told me in my ear. You knew it straight away. Congratulations, John. A really special moment, and thank you for providing it. Thank you.